Hello everyone, I'm your host, Boss Zombie. Welcome back to the Indigo Disc. I know what I did wrong. I was looking back on it. I didn't trade for the chili sauce. That's the thing I needed the cucumber for. I completely forgot about it. Ready to take on my trial, elite trial, Matthew? I'm ready. Give me a hot minute to get everything set up. Alright, I know what to do this time. Oh, I hate that I have to battle them all again. First things first, negotiate with the League Club members to get some ingredients. You need to make a super spicy sandwich. That should already be a clue for what you need. Once you've got all the ingredients to whip up your sandwich, give me a holler. Alright then, let's start this now. Oh wait, do I not need the battler? Oh, I keep all my ingredients. Well, that's much better. You. Okay, so it's not as bad as I thought. I need chili sauce. Wow, I can't believe I missed that. That's annoying. Um, so what do I have? Basically everything except the mayo I use. Yep. Okay, so all of these. And mustard and a chili sauce. How did I miss? I still can't believe I missed the chili sauce. How did I goof so badly? Alright, same as before. Onions. Uh, the jalapenos. And the chorizos. Sandwich. Stop leaning. I don't like that you do that. A little smushed, but a sandwich, I guess. You know, that probably wouldn't taste bad. It just would be very spicy. Actually, nothing in there besides the jalapenos is too spicy. Oh, wow. Ooh, this isn't spicy anymore, it's just pain. I'm burning up all the way inside. Even the spiciest of souls would love that super spicy sandwich. So you know what? I think I can already give you my verdict. You pass. That was absolutely perfect. Your sandwich brought the heat like nothing else. Sandwich. Stop laughing like that, it's weird. I'm gonna enjoy the tingle on my tongue as we head back to the plaza. Alright, I have to actually fight him. Well, that wraps up the trial, so now it's time to face me in an elite battle. You all prepped and ready to take me on? Yes. Coming right up. Watch out, because I'm cranking up the heat. I just realized we had a water chef and now a fire chef in this game. So, Matthew, I take it there's some messy history between you and Kieran, huh? And it sure seems like Drayton's cooking up something fishy too. Gah, everything is getting so complicated. Can't you all just get over yourselves? If you want to say something, just say it. If you want to do something, just do it. I agree. I'm not the kind of guy who wastes time sweating the small stuff. I battle because I want to battle, and you know what? That's how it should be. I'm Crispin, the Elite Four rep in this here Savannah biome. 
I want to win, so that's exactly what I'll do. Quick ball. Christmas of the BB Elite Four. Ooh. Well, Talonflame won't like Rock Slide. Now then, time to get cooking. Wait, no, time to start battling. Okay, so we're gonna Aqua Step, Rotom, and then we're gonna Rock Slide the both of them. Yep, saw that coming. Out. You have Gale Wings. Ah, you're really gonna douse our flames if you keep moves, using moves like that. Okay, good, so he's gonna get a speed and attack boost because he's very good at steamrolling. You have a rocky helmet, you jerk. I wonder how many Pokemon this guy has. Camera upped, okay. Ooh. Executor, huh? Well, I'm gonna Acrobatics Executor. Actually, no. I'm gonna Aqua Step Camera upped, and I'm gonna X Scizor Executor. You better not have a rocky helmet, too. Okay, no, you didn't. I just need Quapaval to not faint while it has all these nice boosts going. Oh, the big boy. Oh, no. That's actually two very good Pokemon. Oh, Magmortar is okay. I'm gonna... Who's the biggest threat here? I think Blaziken. Time to terrestrialize and really turn up the heat. Go on, Blaziken. Burn bright red. Oh, lucky guess. I figured Magmortar was gonna be his Terra Pokemon. My water bird beats your fire bird. My water bird starter beats your fire bird starter. And there's a grass bird starter. We've got a full set of bird starters, don't we? I don't think this will knock out Magmorda, but it'll at least get it down a lot. Or it'll faint. Clonk is better than... I mean, Clonk is never terrible, but it's much better than I remember. I wanted to win, but I lost. Yeah, that's how battles go. Ooh, that was amazing. We cranked the heat all the way up, eh, Matthew? I love battles and I love cooking because they're both so easy to understand. In battles, you either win or you lose. Cooking your dishes either spicy or not spicy. Simple, right? But right now, the mood in the league club feels, I don't know, off. It's so frustrating. I wish I knew how we could go back to being the fun club we were before. But hey, didn't mean to douse the flames there. You're really strong, Matthew. Let me see if I can transfer the burning heat from our frying bat from our battle to my frying pan. I'll whip you up something great. It's okay, I already have a friend that cooks. His name is Arvin. He has a nice dog. That's actually a cool shot. I look like a doofus. Here, I'll also give you one of my favorite moves to serve up in battle. Temper Flare! What is that? Spurred by desperation, the user attacks the target. The move's power is doubled if the user's previous move failed. Oh, you can make some shenanigan builds with that. 
I've got no clue how to manage the temperature of anything besides what I'm cooking. So all I can say is, crank up the heat all you want in the BB League, Matthew. Do I get BB points for beating you? That would be fun. No? Okay. Bye. Yo, champ in the making. Hey, you're not supposed to... That's not your line. That's when Elite Four member beat. Things are looking good for you. Crispin's no pushover. He's just super straightforward. I think that's kind of part of his charm, you know? We used to all chow down on Crispin's cooking after club activities let out. Those were the days. Guess he's been worrying about all the the way things are too in his own way. You just might be the one we need to shake up things up in the league club. That's it for me. Good luck with the remaining Elite Three. How long is this DLC? Because I imagine we do some stuff back in Area Zero based on the trailer. Okay, so Fairy next. I guess I'll lead with Skeledurge. Oh, you're most of you are not good against Fairy. You do have Metal Claw. Hmm. I could try to hope that Icicle Spear... No, I think I'll use Skeldurge and Cloth. They'll have to... They'll have to do. Alright, luckily I've already been to this plaza. My fellows up before I take on hers. So hers is purple. I mean, she's definitely fairy, right? They seem like they're obvious, the types. He's Drayton's clearly dragon. Girl with the crazy hair was steel. Actually, it tells me on the map, doesn't it? Yeah, she's fairy. Wait, what? Ooh, a Granville. Hello. I just noticed these posts are supposed to, like, mimic... Yeah. It's like when the original gyms, you would walk in and there was the little statues at the entrance. Coastal Plaza, we're the team that supports Miss Lacey of the Elite Four. And you're Matthew, right? One of the BB League challengers? You'll need to hand over 50 VP if you want to take on the Elite Trial here. Yes. Baby 50 VP. Thank you very much. Duly received and noted. We need you over here, Miss Lacey. Coming. Oh, if it isn't Matthew, I'm so glad you decided to pay me a visit. Please follow me, I'll show you to the trial site. I know one of these trials involves flying, because they put that in the trailer. It might be the Steel Girls. Thank you for coming to the Coastal Plaza to challenge me. And I'm really sorry for the way I protested you joining the BB League, Matthew. Of course, it's true that this is quite irregular under the bylaws of our school clubs. But mainly, I didn't want you to get dragged into the drama that's been troubling the club lately. I suppose our trial has already be officially begun, though, so let's get to it and have some fun. The trial that I came up with is a Pokemon quiz. Oh? I'll ask you five questions about Pokemon. If you can answer them all correctly, then you pass. That's it? Are you ready to attempt my Pokemon quiz? Yeah. How hard are these going to be? I'll just get everything ready. Oh, is it going to be like a quiz show? Oh, hey Pikachu. Alright, here we go. And look, it's everyone's favorite Pokemon, Pikachu, here to help. And with that, question one. Pikachu is an electric type Pokemon well known for producing electricity within its body. But in which part of its body does it store the electricity it generates? Oh, I know that. 
Go for the body part that you think is correct. Do I have to actually touch it? It's the cheeks! This is fun. Ding, ding, ding! You got it! Pikachu stores electricity in the electric sacks in its cheeks. If you poke his sacks, you'll get a little shock. But don't you think they're just super round and cute? Now then, I think we're ready to move on to our next quiz question. Who's our helper then? Venonat! Take a look at Venonat here. It's bigger than it, you think it would be, isn't it? But it's also fluffy and squeezable and terribly adorable, really. So here we go with question two. Even on the darkest of nights, Venonat is able to use a certain part of its body like a radar, like radar, which allows it to detect its surrounding, air, surrounding objects. Which part of Venonat's body acts like radar? I mean, is it is this a trick question? It's got to be the antenna. No? That's so close but incorrect. I do see why you think that, though. Looking as for is quite a large part of Venonat's body, so now guess again. Is it the feet? Really? No, no, I'm afraid that's still the wrong part of this adorable Venonat. Two strikes, which means... No. Oh. Did you just want to battle all along? Oh, so if I get it wrong, I battle. Peter the student. Shut up, Venonat. I'm upset. Is it the eyes? I thought the eyes... I thought it would be a trick. Neither of you are fairy types. How dare you. Have a torch song. I guess it was the eyes. Looks like you're better battling than you are in answering quiz questions. Hey! It's when you get a free walk, meaning you can move on without answering the question. Fine, I don't like Ven- I do like Venonet. Oh, I actually use its large eyes to like rate. That seems so obvious. I wouldn't call that a radar. Isn't Venonet even more adorable when you think about how it sees it a whole world we can't see? Now then, I think we're ready to move on to our next question. That's not radar. That's not what radar means. Oh. Getting weird with my quiz? How about a cup of tea? Or maybe these three Sinisty siblings. The middle one has the authentic logo. Here's question three. Sinisty likes to live in precious antique cups. But there are a lot of phonies out there. It's hard to tell which cups are genuine or antiques. One of these three Sinista, Sinisty is an antique form Sinisty, meaning it found a real antique cup. So which Sinisty has the real deal? It's the middle one. Spin around. Yep. Ding, ding, ding! You spotted it! That's right, an antique form Sinisty can be recognized by the mark on the bottom of its cup. But it doesn't matter whether they're antique form or phony form, they're all so darn cute. Now then, I think we're ready to move on to our next quiz question. That was number four. Minior! This is the Meteor Pokemon Minior. It comes in all kinds of different colors, you know. I'll, f I'll first ask you to take a good look at this pinkish Minior for me, okay? There they are. All right, guys, mix yourselves up real good. Oh. It's this guy.
Ding, ding, ding. You did it. Even after they returned to their meteor form, you still managed to find the right one. Aren't mine are adorable? Their coloration varies based on what they eat. Now then, I think we're ready to move on to the very last quiz question. Is this going to be like a joke question? Granbull? Okay. Oh, look, here comes Granbull. Maybe it heard the word pink and decided to stop by. This little sweetie is one of my own Pokemon. It's always with me. Our last question, question 5, will involve Granbull here. Granbull is a quiet, delicate, and lovable Pokemon, of course, but can you tell me this? When I take a nap with my adorable Granbull, which part of its body do I use as a pillow? What? How would I... I don't know, are you a weirdo? It's gotta be stomach, right? Okay. What else would you use as a pillow? Ding, 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 that's exactly right. I use that soft, adorable tummy. When I cuddle up to it, it's so soft and cozy. We both fall asleep in just seconds. And that's the end of my quiz. You got through all the questions, even if you did have to fight your way through, so... Congratulations, Matthew. You've officially earned... Cleared my elite trial. I love the Granbull's a fairy type. Why don't we head back to the plaza? I'm still upset that they were calling that a radar. Since you passed my elite trial, you've earned the right to challenge me to a battle. But what do you want to do now? Ready to move straight to it? Yes. Got it. No time to waste then, right? Let's get to our positions. Okay, this should be far enough. Let me properly introduce myself for this. I am Lacey of the Elite Four. I really didn't expect I'd get a challenge from someone like you, Matthew. Rightfully, you do belong to a different school. Honestly, I'm still a bit shocked, but I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of our battle. So, uh, let's see. First of all, I should tell you that I mostly use Fairy-type Pokémon. Which is nothing like an adorable pink fairy, right? They're weak to poison and steel. Anything too caustic or cutting just doesn't suit them. Oh, but you must know all this already, right, Matthew? Now for this battle, I'm not going to hold anything back. I want to be sure you walk away with a proper understanding, after all. You're about to learn that cuteness is a real strength. Ooh, she's got a nest ball. Okay, fire type I can work with. Oh, but it's Whimsicott. It's going to be a prankster. This time I'll be facing you with my usual party as a member of the Elite Four. Okay, that's fine. That's less fine. That one, and then you're going to use Metal Claw, and hopefully we can build up some damage. There we go. So they have a good synergy going to the, to, uh, between the two of them. It's a rock solid strategy to go after weaknesses, which is why I'll be turning it right back on you. No, oh. that was a critical hit. Why did you have to land that kind of hit? Now that's just not right. All right, what's Granbull gonna do to be annoying? Oh, he had a focus sash. That's fine, I still get the boost. Uh-oh. 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 Ouch. I'm gonna do the same thing. And just kind of try to build up attack, or a special attack with... That's not good. Ooh. Oh, wait, that is good. Yeah. As long as Granville doesn't go after Cloth. Just keep building up special attack. 
Off, I wish you would get the boost. Aren't, isn't Metal Cloud supposed to have a good chance to give you an attack boost? Am I thinking of a different move? Oh, it missed? Yeah. Oh. Why do you have that? I guess it's a fairy type. Solid damage, right? Yeah. And heal. Cloth is probably in trouble now. Hype. Oh! Right. Makes it water moves. It has liquid... Wait. Is that what liquid voice did? Oh. Oh. That's dangerous. Yeah, I don't have anything for fairies, so it's rough out here. Oh, you're the poison one. Uh, I don't want to use that. I don't want to use that. Actually, I'll go back. We're going to Shadow Ball Slowbro, and we're going to Flower Trick Green Arena. Hopefully I don't regret making into a grass type. Maybe I should have gone with electric. That has to be strong enough if it's super effective, right? Yeah. I need that light screen to go away. This one. And I know this one. So she must be Clay's daughter then with the extra drill, right? Oh, she's gonna terrestrialize all creamy. All eyes on her great big terrestrial heart. Time to get even cuter and cuter. Or is she gonna. Who is it? Oh, the Excadrill is a fairy type. Very interesting strategy. Does, Exc does Excadrill have fairy moves? Oh. Oh. That alchemy is probably going to come after me in a second. What are you going to do, alchemy? What did... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. But wait, though. What, do you have leftovers? Yeah. Okay. Well, hold on. Man, I hope this does enough damage. Probably not. Okay, right. Okay, good. Dangerous. Yeah, I really just don't have any counters for fairy types on this team. Yay. I hate losing, but I love seeing such cute Pokemon. Matthew, Matthew, did you see? Did you see our Pokemon battling it out? Oh, it's almost too much. They were just too cute, even for me. Lady, I had an anthropomorphic cat and a 
demon crocodile. Uh, sure, this one. N no, wrong. We're not talking about me. We're talking about my Pokemon. Your Pokemon are very cute as well, Matthew. Well, you know, it's just not right for two people to hog all this cuteness between them. Why don't we wrangle up the cute Pokemon here for a cute picture we can share with everyone? Oh, she's weird. She's much weirder than... An how come none of my guys got in on this? Ooh, this one is just too cute. I'm gonna make myself a backup copy, or three. I'll give you this as well as proof of your cuteness. A luring voice. What'd that do? The user attacks the target using its angelic voice. This also confuses the target if its stats have been boosted during the turn. Oh, that's also fun. You really are very strong when you get serious in battle, Matthew. I wonder how far you'll be able to get facing off against the strongest trainers in our school. I'll be keeping an eye on you and your progress. Bye! Oh, the Venonat. And Drayton. Yo, yo, champ in the making. So that's two Leaf Four members down already, huh? You sure are crushing it. Lace is all about cuteness, and that's what helps her make her Pokemon stronger. She's so into her team, training the little cuties doesn't even feel like work to her. Wild, right? I bet it's the same for you, huh? You work so hard at it because you like it. And like a certain someone who seems busy running himself and everyone around him into the ground just to get a bit stronger. You know, Lacey's polite to everyone else, but she's really blunt with me. I wonder why. Seems like things are going well with the BB League. Right, Matthew? What's up, Mighty Champion? Scoping out the competition? I was getting worried. I'd be so disappointing. It'd be so disappointing if Matthew had gotten weaker. But you seem as strong as ever, thankfully. Matthew, go all the way. Don't go losing. I can't show you how strong I've gotten if you don't even make it to me. Man, you look so dumb with your hair like that. Yeah, someone's good and riled up. Anyway, you got places to be, right? I better not keep you. See ya. Good luck with the remaining Elite 2. Okay, so I'm thinking for Steel types... We'll go fire and water. Or fire and fighting, really. And we need to heal. So I have not been in that other biome at all yet. This question is, should I go from... Let's go from the plaza. I'll mark that as my destination. from this plaza. I wonder if I was supposed to start with Lacey or Chris. Like, I mean, it's obvious you can do them in any order you want. It's just like the, well, kind of like the base game. But I wonder if they, the intention was to start with Crispin or Lacey. Oh, that's cute. They do use the nest. Look at that. Actually, I should. I want to save. It's. Every, I should save every time because there's some serious, serious hangups I've seen in this DLC, as I mentioned before. Ooh, comet shard. Okay. Okay, does the canyon have a different? Ooh, drill Have different music. 
Oh, it does. It's more mountainy and rugged. Some some death mountain vibes from this place. Nice bridge. Oh, they even added a windy sound effect to really make it feel high up. I know that one. Well, I could use these ridiculous stepping stones. I think I'll just climb. That's a normal Chinchino, right? Or Minchino, right? Yeah, okay. I think the shiny one is like more purplish. Do I have a... Ah, okay, so... Oh yeah, look, Wild Cronidos! I guess Shield On must also be in this area then. Dragon Pulse. Ooh, that's a tough trainer. Hey, Mint. Oh, wait, I bet Shield On is exclusive to Violet. Cronidos is exclusive to Scarlet. Because, of course, they would be. They've always been that way. Hey, Cedra. And... What am I looking at? Oh, Alam Alamomola. I hope this rain lets... Oh, these are just weird plants. I couldn't tell what I was looking at. I hope this... What? I didn't see you there, little guy. Well, now I know where you spawn. Can this rain stop? Because I'm about to fight his... Oh, thank you. All right. I'll consider it. All right, we got Matang. So does she use a Metagross? Welcome to the Canyon Plaza, where the team that supports Amorous of the Elite Four. And you're Matthew, right? One of the BB League challengers? You need to hand over 50 BP if you want to take on the Elite Trial here. Yeah. Take my money. See if I care. Thank you very much. Duly received and noted. Here Now here she comes. Our very own, our very own Amaris. I like her boots. I wish she had gloves that matched. Matthew, yes? As you see, I'm present and ready for your trial. Change location is required. Come. The decision to allow you to take on the League was irregular, an exception among exceptions. I was against it, as you know, but the Academy allowed it, and their ruling is absolute. Therefore, I will carry out my duty as a member of the Elite Four as flawlessly as I always do. The Elite Trial I devise starts right here. I call my challenge the Flying Time Trial. You'll need to fly around the skies of the terrarium while riding a Pokemon. Reach the goal within the prescribed time, and you'll pass the trial. Fly through the Magnemite Rings, and extra time will be added to the countdown. I recommend you go through as many rings as possible as you fly toward the goal. Are there going to be harder versions of these once you finish the story? Can you verify that you're ready and willing to take on my flying time trial? I'm ready. Understood. I assume you have a Pokemon to ride on. Please bring it out of its ball. Hey, you ever seen one of these before? Ah, good. With some effort, this Pokemon should be capable of flight. Your name is Agius, yes? This is for you to eat. Just gave my dragon steroids. Tridon is brimming with power. What your Agius just consumed is a supplement that enhances the Pokemon's flight capabilities. I prepared it using the leaves of a mysterious plant that was found growing in the terrarium. 
Your Agus will be able to sort through the disguise as it pleases, but only for the duration of the trial. Try to reach the goal within the time limit by flying on Crydon's back. Past your Magnemite rings will grant you extra time. You freely fly in any direction using the left stick. Up to fly up, down. Okay. You have all you need to begin the challenge. I wish you luck. But you should be able to do this in the base game, too, from the, what the trailer showed, unless that was a fake out. Hmm. This looks like it could be fun. Hello? Hello? What's happening? Oh, we're just going. Oh, is it gonna feel like inverted controls? She said up is up, right? Actually, that's not that bad. Okay, what's the... Ooh, I almost messed that up because I was thinking inverted controls. Oh, I can change the camera. Okay, that makes things a lot easier. Climb. Alright, I finished it. With more than 40 seconds left. That one was easy. I suspect that's just to teach me how flying works so I can use it in the base game? Maybe? That was an impressive display of punctuality. I must admit, I was it was satisfying to watch you fly. Congratulations, you've cleared my elite trial. Now a change of location is required once again. Come. You've earned the right to face me in battle. Do you wish to begin? Understood, let's assume our battle positions. Oh, she can actually run when she wants to. Position assumes she even runs like a robot. Her boots are cool, though. There's one thing I wanted to ask you. It concerns Kieran. What is he to you, Matthew? He's my pal. So you consider him a friend. I see. For my part, Kieran is the younger brother of my dear friend Carmine. Something in him has changed. He is not his usual self. I find this deeply concerning. If possible, I want to be the one to help him. That being the case, I cannot afford to lose. I hate that you have a pocket watch. It's so dumb. Our battle starts now. Make it a compass or something more interesting than a pocket watch. Ooh, heavy ball though. That's a good aesthetic. Hmm. Okay. Okay. That Doug Trio could be a worry, but... Gary Skarmory, you two Doug Trio. We're finishing this battle right on schedule. So both of these Pokemon have moves that are good against both of my Pokemon. Oh. You're very fast. That's dangerous. Okay, not that bad. No. Oh. oh wait, you have a focus thing? An unfavorable type matchup. You caught me off guard and now my glasses are fogged up. Yep. That's fine though, because Aqua Step will go faster now. Never mind. So much for that plan. And you have sturdy.
Okay, that's fine, because I don't plan on switching out. So now let's swap targets. I just need to get a good steamroll going. Of course, you had a rocky helmet. Poor Quackleball's getting his buttocks kicked. So Skeldurge is up two special attack. Quackleball's up speed and attack. So Quackleball should go after the speed priorities. Skeldurge after bulkier stuff. Oh! Huh, you're slow, I think. And you're not. Okay, so we're gonna Shadow Ball, Rionculus, and we're gonna Low Sweep, and Polion. Yeah! Give me more Moxie. So bad luck can also play a role in battles. That's good to know. Thank you. Rionculus is slow, right? It better be slow because he's about to use a Psychic. Okay. Bye. Who is... So every one of these members of the Elite Four have used a starter. That's cool. Ooh. All right, which one of you is the ace? Is it Scizor or is... Oh, it's Metagross. Well, wait a second. If it is Metagross, it's going to become a pure steel type, which means Slow Sweep will do terrible things to it. Time is short. Let's wrap this battle up. Come on, Metagross. You're going to make the pseudo a Terra Astalice Pokemon, right? Right? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. And have a plus two attack low sweep. All right, bye. Nope, I had Noka Berry, but that shouldn't matter because this is an exceptionally strong... Yeah, you're gone. And it was a crit. Not enough, I see. The strength of one's Pokémon reflects the strength of one's beliefs. Your desire to help Kieran is evidently greater than my own. No, you care plenty. Matthew, you truly are a kind person. Alright then. Time for a photo. We must ensure that your victory here is properly commemorated. That's... We Am I showing her how to do it? Is that the idea? I'll give you this TM too. It contains a favorite move of mine. Hard press. Target is crushed with an arm, a claw, or the like to inflict damage. The more HP the target has left, the greater... Oh, it's Crush Claw, but Steel type. No, Crush... Grip? Which is the one Regigigas has? It is up to you to help Kieran, Matthew. I entrust my wish to you. Time for me to go. So long. I wonder if Cloth can learn that move. That could be a fun one. 
Certainly better than Metal Claw for coverage. Yo, 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 champ in the making. That's three of the Elite Four you've trounced now. Seeing how far you're getting is making me sweat a little. Amorous sure leaves an impression, huh? It's wild seeing her and Carmine talk. You'd never guess it, but they click in a weird way. It's pretty funny to watch. The thing about Amorous is, as rigid as she looks, she's got a sensitive streak a mile wide. Remember that about her, okay? Even if it's hard to tell from outside. You know, bud, seeing skills like yours up close and personal really lives, leaves an impression. No wonder it had such an effect on Kieran. But enough about that. I guess your elite fourth match is going to be against me. Nice of you to save the best for last. You gave me plenty of time to get ready. See you soon. Show us what you got. Okay, bye. Yeah, can Cloth learn? Because Cloth needs... I need someone with a good steel move. And Metal Claw is not cutting it. Where did I get new items? Oh, a mint? No, something else. Oh, Love Sweet. Nope, something else. Oh, the bottle cap. Uh, oh, he can't learn it. It's a physical... Actually, that's not a bad move at all. Just in general, it's the same strength as Fire Punch. Cloth can learn this move? Cloth, what is your weird coverage, bud? Huh. Okay, so nothing especially... Why is it saying... Oh, that's weird. Oh, I wanted to check underneath... Or around. Like, why were there so many fire terror shards at that one place? No, that's just... That was just a bunch of tire... Tire? Fire terror shards for no... Wait, I can do it again? Oh. Interesting. Can I do all the trials again if I wanted to for some weird reason? Huh. Okay, well, there's one left, and he's a dragon specialist, so I'm going to use my dog and my dragon. Yeah, I've actually had a pretty good opportunity to use all my guys. Yeah. Max Calibre is always fun because it basically just becomes Icicle Spear spam. Ooh, there's Minear. Oh, it's like way deep in that biome. Okay. Nope. Oh, wait, I can do it. Okay. We'll head there in the next episode. And then I guess we fight Kieran or something else happens. Who knows? But that's it for now. So thanks for joining me. Come back. I'll the next stuff up real soon. But until then, bye.